Man City vs Chelsea Live, Premier League Updates. Pep Guardiola, left, is an admirer of Thomas Tuchel, right, Ben Stansel Pa, Chelsea head to Manchester City for Saturday's early Premier League kickoff, knowing they realistically need a victory to blow the title race back wide open. Pep Guardiola's side have been relentless in the league of late and opened up a 10-point lead between themselves and the Blues, so there's very little pressure on City to go all out for the win. That said, they could really exert their dominance and make a point over last year's Champions League final being a one-off if they took the game to Thomas Tuchel's team and triumphed to further increase their lead at the top. In midweek it was Chelsea who triumphed in the Carabao Cup semi-finals against Tottenham to book themselves a spot at Wembley and await either Liverpool or Arsenal. City, by contrast, have had over a week to recover since their FA Cup third round win over Swindon. They have won seven in a row in all competitions and 14 of the last 15, a phenomenal run of form which has them looking at yet another league title. Follow all the updates from Man City vs Chelsea below, it was on the bus to the 2021 Champions League final that Thomas Tuchel learned of Pep Guardiola's decision to leave out both Rodri and Fernandinho. The Chelsea manager was stunned. Tuchel felt it was a move so drastic that it was effectively Guardiola taking on all responsibility for the match. So it proved. While Tuchel has been more successful than most in working out how to beat this Manchester City, he privately admits that final came down to Guardiola's selection. It was almost a case of the English champions beating themselves rather than getting beaten. That may be what the rest of football is relying on this season. Pep Guardiola's all-conquering side have not only set a new standard in the Premier League, they have changed the very complexion of the competition, writes Miguel Delaney as has been mentioned, Manchester City are on a seven-game winning run since losing to RB Leipzig in their final group game of the Champions League, when they had already qualified for the next round and have won 14 of their last 15 fixtures across all competitions. In the Premier League they have scored 21 goals over six games and conceded just four times. It's an incredibly impressive run from the Premier League champions who continue striding towards another title. Looking to halt them in their tracks are second place Chelsea. The Blues are now 10 points adrift of the league leaders after stumbling through the Christmas period saw them record four draws in their last five Premier League matches. Three consecutive victories in cup competitions has got Chelsea back into winning ways so can they bring that form into today's top of the table clash with Man City? Pep Guardiola fielded questions in his pre-game press conference about Manchester City's handling of the coronavirus situation, because whilst every team has had to deal with postponements and rising cases City are the ones whose performances on the pitch have not been affected. They have won 14 of their last 15 games across all competitions and have opened a 10-point lead over Chelsea at the top of the Premier League table. Guardiola said, I think the COVID is all around the world. It is not that in this part of the world there is no COVID. That is not true. We had a lot of cases and a lot of injuries. We played Aston Villa with 11 first-team players. The last four or five games we played with academy players on the bench. We are in the same situation as all other clubs. Injuries may be less because our medical department is incredible. But in terms of COVID, we are the same. It is not that we are smarter or wiser or do the protocols better. When the virus comes into the bubble, everyone suffers. There's no exception. Thomas Tuchel spoke about the drop-off in Chelsea's fortunes since the start of the season which has seen them fall 10 points behind Manchester City in the race for the Premier League table. Tuchel says that the rising cases from COVID-19 haven't helped his squad in a race where every dropped point could be crucial. Speaking ahead of today's match he said, Man City opened the gap, not over the last months, they opened the gap over the last years, and I wasn't ever shy to say this. We try to close it. We were self-confident enough to say we will try to close it from the first day of the season. This is what we did, and we did it very good. I want to be very clear about it. I will be absolutely happy with the players who travel with us and will be on the pitch, and we will inject the most confidence that we can have. We will come up with a plan, and we will push and help and support in the best way, but the team is a different team when everybody is available. It's as simple as that. If you have your 19 or 20 players from 23 always constantly available, this creates the energy, the atmosphere and the extra edge that you need if you want to be at the level where Man City is. We don't have it. It's no excuse. It's just a description and explanation of the situation in which we find ourselves in the last weeks. Manchester City will be without Riyad Mahrez who is at the Africa Cup of Nations. John Stones is nearing a comeback from injury, and according to manager Pep Guardiola there are new COVID-19 cases in City's squad, although no specific players were mentioned. 
COVID-19 is the reason Andreas Christensen misses the match for Chelsea, and he is joined by Rhys James, Ben Chilwell and Trevo Chalaba who are all injured. Like Mars, Chelsea's first-choice goalkeeper Edouard Mendy is at AFCON, so keeper Eriz Abelaga is expected to start in goal after an impressive performance against Tottenham in the Carabao Cup semi-final. Chelsea head to Manchester City for Saturday's early Premier League kickoff, knowing they realistically need a victory to blow the title race back wide open. Pep Guardiola's side have been relentless in the league of late and opened up a 10-point lead between themselves and the Blues, so there's very little pressure on City to go all out for the win. That said, they could really exert their dominance and make a point over last year's Champions League final being a one-off if they took the game to Thomas Tuchel's team and triumphed to further increase their lead at the top. In midweek it was Chelsea who triumphed in the Carabao Cup semi-finals against Tottenham to book themselves a spot at Wembley and await either Liverpool or Arsenal. City, by contrast, have had over a week to recover since their FA Cup third round win over Swindon. They have won seven in a row in all competitions and 14 of the last 15, a phenomenal run of form which has them looking at yet another league title.